What up, world? It's your boy, B.A. For Real 100, and welcome to Get Your Bars Up Media. Salute, salute, salute. Ugh. So, we back up in this thing. Just finished another great workout. Your boy is tired as ish. Now I got to hop in the shower and do all of that stuff and start my day. But the reason why I'm on here so early today is because um, I'm getting all of these text messages from friends and family from all over the place talking about this Evander Holyville versus, Tyson, uh, versus Mike Tyson 3. What? What? Do we really want to see that? Yeah, probably not, honestly. Um, these guys are way past their primes. I know that they probably probably need to check. You feel me? They probably need to check because you know people, when they get all that money, they spend it, blow it, whatever, whatever. But hey, we're not really trying to see that. Somebody might end up having a heart attack in that ring. These dudes are damn near 60, 60 years old sitting there trying to box each other. What? Not saying that they're not in great shape because they both probably both are in phenomenal shape, it looks like, from a physical standpoint. But internally, though, I don't know if they can go the distance or whatnot. And I don't know if they're just going to be trying. People trying to rip us off, y'all. Why people trying to rip us off with all this propaganda? Why? Why? Why are they trying to do this? Why? I know they got bills to pay, and I know that's exactly why they probably want this third match. But uh, for all the old heads like myself, I remember being young watching the first two and watching uh, <laughs> watching Mike Tyson bite Evander's uh, ear off back in, in, in the mid-90s was super crazy, too. I was, I was a kid watching that like, what? What's going on? What? I can't believe we just did that. Ah! And now their buddy, buddy, Mike Tyson returned the ear in a commercial. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Back in, back in the gap. A couple years ago, he returned to Vander Holyfield's ear. Yes, he did. But with that being said, <laughs> we not really trying to see that. But anyways, I got to get back to the J. I want to know y'all opinions. Do y'all want to see a Tyson versus Holyfield part three? Like I said, that, that they're almost they're there in their mid fifties right now, almost pushing sixty trying to box, and I'm I, and AJ ain't nothing but a number. But when it comes to actual physical sports like boxing, somebody can get hurt up in there. Somebody can get hurt up in there, and them trying to go. Hopefully, it's about three rounds, and it's for charity. How about that? How about that? Then we'll probably watch it. We'll probably watch it then. But if not, and they're really trying to kill each other, I'm sure it's gonna sell out because a lot of people are gonna want to see that. But me, uh, fellas, fellas, sit, go, go get some bread somewhere else. Go get some bread somewhere else. Y'all are, y'all are famous. Y'all are legends. But trying to kill each other in the ring right now? Stop it. Stop it. But anyways, I got to get up out of here. This is your boy, BA For Real 100. This is Get Your Bars Up Media. If this is your first time here, click that subscribe button. You rock with me. I rock with you. And if you're out there hating just because you think I'm a new guy and you just now stumbled upon my page and I've been doing this for a minute, then all I can truly say is thank you for coming. And get your bars up. Salute. Subscribe. All of that good stuff. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this Tyson versus Holyfield part three part Trey ah I gave my opinions on it so what's yours anyway salute